I think he taught me a lot about uh, kind of how the collaborative effort worked and how he worked with other people, how he had the kind of give and take of, you know, you, you don't always just stand on, well, this is my design and I don't care whether you like it or not, but this is it. You know, he learned to be flexible. I learned to see how, and he would get in situations that I would look at and go, okay, now what is he going to do, you know? And then he, I would see how that he would go in and, you know, if something wasn't working, he, he would fix it, you know, and say, okay, well, let's try this or let's change this or whatever. So I, I learned that, you know, that, it, that, that the medium, how collaborative it really is and working with directors and working with the writers and working with the producers and, and, and saying, okay, um, you know, I have to kind of give here and, you know, maybe I can ask for this, but, you know, it's a kind of a give and take thing. And the best shows that I worked on always had that quality about it, where we were allowed to collaborate, we were allowed to work with each other to move this kind of living, breathing thing, this, this production along, because it was always changing. I mean, the writing would change, the, a lot of things would happen that would come along and come out of nowhere, and you would say, okay, now what do we do? But I learned to see him think on his feet, move fast, and get it fixed. Um, you know, television is a world that uh, you can't sit around and mull something over for very long. You have to, to just say, okay, we're going with this and, and move that direction. You, you can't say, well, let me, let me go think about that for a week or two. Uh, you know, you, you have to instantly give a decision. You know, when, it, when they say, well, what color should this be? You go, um, orange, okay. And what, well, what orange, okay. So then you pull out a color chip and hand them the chip and say, okay, this orange, you know. So it's not, uh, it's a medium that is, it makes you work very quickly and think on your feet and you have to be extraordinary. If you're not flexible and you can't take the kind of quick, fast pace, then they always said, if you don't want to this, if, if this is too much for you, go sell shoes because, you know, and then you can just sell shoes all day and you don't have to worry about anything. But um, it's, it's, and it's something that I tell my students all the time. Look, if you, if you choose to become an artist, you better have about 22 layers of skin because um, you're gonna have successes, but you're also going to have um, some failures or you're gonna have things that don't work. And you better be ready because if you, if you think you're gonna go into it and everybody's gonna love everything you do, you're gonna be seriously mistaken that you have to be prepared to, to, to take it, not take it personally, and approach it in a professional manner and say, okay, this didn't work quite right, uh, let's fix this. You know, um, it, you, you, and as I say, it, you want to be an artist, then you have to be prepared for that kind of, kind of life. It's, it, it's, not, you know, it's not that easy sometimes.